video, we're going to create the interior design of a book using the NotionPress DIY writing platform. Very often, authors who choose to self-publish find themselves in a fix when it comes to designing their book. The writing tool offered by NotionPress makes this process as simple as can be. You can access the writing tool through a NotionPress account. If you don't already have an account, you can create one by going to the top right corner of the site and clicking on Login. I'm going to sign into an existing account that I have. As I scroll down the dashboard, I can see all the books that I've started working on. Now I want to create the interior design of the book, The Count of Monte Cristo. So I'm going to click on Continue Publishing. As you can see, I've already completed the book format and title information details for this book. We've covered these details and how you can set up a book for publishing in a separate video. We've also talked about each item in these tabs and how you should customize these options for your book. Right now, we're going straight to the Interior Design tab. Select the Create Online option to access the writing tool. Select Start Writing. And we're here on the writing platform. What you see on the left side is a control panel. And what you see in the middle is a writing space. On top here, you can choose the kind of layout you would like for the interior design. In the control panel, you can add new sections for your book, rearrange chapters, and even delete sections. We've already added some typical front matter sections a book would have. Now, don't worry if your book doesn't have some of these sections. You can leave them empty and the tool will disregard them when you create the design. If you want to add a front matter section that isn't mentioned here, you can just click on the plus sign, add the title here and the content here. If you choose to delete this section later, you can do that by clicking on the recycle bin button here. Now I have here the first three chapters of the book, The Count of Monte Cristo. It doesn't have any front matter, so I'm going to leave that section as it is. But it is divided into several volumes. So I want to add a page with just the words volume one mentioned just before I start the first chapter. To do that, click on the plus sign and click part page. I'll add the heading here. Now let's start adding chapters. To add the first chapter, click on the plus sign again, add chapter. I can either type in or copy paste from another file. So I'll copy paste the name of the chapter here first. And then copy the rest of the chapter. Pasting it in the writing space. Now let's say I want this line here to be in bold. All I need to do is select the line and choose the bold formatting option from these set of options here. This panel also has a whole lot of other options. You can change the formatting of the text to that of a heading, italicize, underline, find text, replace text, add a quotation format, add a numbered list, bulleted list, change alignment, and even add a separator. Now I'm going to add one more chapter here. Let's copy paste the heading first. and then the text in the chapter. There it is. Now, as you can see, it is possible to rearrange chapters in the control panel. Now to see a preview of this particular chapter in the layout that we've chosen, just click on the eye icon right next to the chapter name in the control panel. And you'll be able to see that particular chapter in the layout. Let's close the preview. 
Now to see the entire book in the layout that you've chosen, just click on preview and finish. Now, as you can see, the tool has automatically created a print-ready PDF using the content that we have entered. It's generated a half title page, a title page, copyright page, set the margins, the book size, fonts, font size, headers, page numbers, and everything else that has to be set for the interior design of a book. If you'd like to make any changes to the content, you can go back to the writing tool by clicking on close. But if you're happy with the design, you can click on save and continue and proceed with the rest of the setup process. So that's how you create the interior design of a book using the Notion Press DIY writing tool. Do get in touch with us if you have any queries, we'd be happy to help. Thank you.